Management Presentation, Lady Bosses, Inc. by Jessica, Meredith, Daniela, Bridget, and Emma. How it all began. Our mission statement. Our ambitions for this project are to work together as a team and to use all the resources we have to succeed in creating an awesome TV show while gaining knowledge of management concepts to help in our future careers. Team values, respect, responsibility, truthfulness, creativity, determination, flexibility, perseverance, risk taking. The team, Lady Bosses Inc. As a group, we have all collaborated at our weekly Wednesday night meetings, equally contributing to the creation and development of our TV series. Jessica, voted most likely to laugh during a filming. <laughs> Meredith, voted most likely to come prepared with templates. <laughs> Emma, voted most likely to hold the camera still. Daniela, voted most likely to outdraw Picasso's stick figures. And Bridget, voted most likely to keep the team calm, cool, and collected. The promotion storyline. Blonde meets the office in the new smash hit series, Elena, Tina, Latoya, Lauren, and Monica. <laughs> Tina, a young up-and-comer, joins the Tech Monster team, bringing drama to the store, causing an ethical dilemma and conflict of interest for Elena, the corporate manager, resulting in an office divided. It all started on Monica's last day in the office before she left to be a stay-at-home mom with her newborn daughter. Tina is transferred to the store as a department head alongside Lauren and LaToya. The conflict begins as the hostility in the office reaches an all-time high, as new transfer Tina is considered for the newly opened position. Up until now, LaToya, the old-timer, was favored throughout the office for the job. As the show goes on, Elena's turmoil on who she should promote grows. The show follows her through her tough decision process. She struggles to choose between her longtime friend and seasoned veteran LaToya or a more qualified, less liked newcomer, Tina. The judgmental views from the catty office girls does not help. Can you say office politics? Who do you think she will choose? XOXO. Lady Bosses Inc. Meet the office. Elena, the super sophisticated corporate manager. Elena is the show's protagonist. She faces the ultimate ethical dilemma. She has to choose between doing what's best for the company or what's best for her friendships. She is a planner, an organizer, and manages with empathy. She has technical and specialized skills and has successfully run this branch for 19 years. Tina. Tina is a recent University of South Florida graduate with a master's in information technology and is the underdog of the office. She is a type that would always follow the code of ethical conduct and knows that she's company's policy. She is a hardworking individual and has quickly moved up the ranks. She is driven, thinks strategically, and uses logical reasoning in her day-to-day -day situations. LaToya is the show's antagonist who pressures the rest of the staff to support her for the newly opened position. She feels entitled because of her tenor, but for the same reason, she feels burnt out. She is very close with the staff, but specifically Elena. Her behavior and constant complaints hurt the store's morale. 
and she values her personal needs over those of the company. Her self-efficacy is awful, and her performance is even worse. Lauren is the office gossiper and instigator. She perceives the office as a social playground rather than a professional work environment. She's a skilled department head but fuels the fire between Tina and LaToya. She has created an informal communication channel which distracts other employees from their daily tasks. This has ultimately created an unprofessional work environment. Monica. Monica is the store's longtime branch manager who decides to leave and dedicate her life to starting a family. She has set the standard high for the next manager to come and it will be hard to fill her shoes. She possesses every quality of an ideal manager. In addition, Monica was an effective leader and influenced her team to perform successfully, meet the company's set goals and obligations. She was not just a manager, but a leader. Monica's departure. This episode follows a day in the life at Tech Monster before Monica's departure. Monica departs <laughs> her legacy of a true motivational leader. It will cover the characteristics of a respectable manager. She encompasses ambition, <laughs> tenacity, and energy. When a leader has all these qualities, it sets the example for the rest of the employees, which is seen in this episode. Viewers will see that Monica is comfortable with the use of power and doesn't hesitate to show authority. The vibe in the office negatively shifts as the employees are left wondering the answer to a very important question. Who will be Monica's replacement? Out with the old, in with the new. Tina walks into the office bringing the drama with her. Although she's not the cause, it all begins when she transfers in. Elena must explain to Tina what her role in this branch is. She covers the corporate social responsibilities and managerial ethics. Elena then describes to Tina that managers serve as agents to the organization's owners and their purpose is to maximize profits for stakeholders. She clarifies Tina's role is not a routine job, but will frequently be engaging in unplanned activities and new projects to further the company's success. The episode concludes with the office discovering Tina is a possible candidate for Monica's job as the branch manager. Episode 3, The Struggle is Real. The episode opens with Elena's personal struggle. She is aware of the steps in effective individual decision making, but is torn between personal and professional responsibilities. She first identifies the gap made when Monica left, then develops criteria for what she is looking for in a branch manager. This generates two alternatives, Tina and LaToya. She analyzes the strengths and weaknesses that each candidate brings to the table. This episode leaves Elena struggling with a conflicting decision. Who do you think will make it? What is still to come? The promotion. To come this season on the promotion. Elena deals with the employee's views on the promotion of Tina, creating many enemies along the way. She tries to value everyone's opinion on this decision. Managing diverse human resources is covered as Elena must prevent an uprising due to her choice being against the majority view. We then follow the office as Elena makes her choice to promote Tina. With LaToya being overlooked, the topic of professional communication and negotiation comes into play. Elena must deliver her decisions to both Tina and LaToya in a professional manner without bias. The group must learn to adapt to the change in environment with Tina's promotion. This covers managerial challenges and demonstrates how effectively manage change. Of the course. As a group, we will continue to collaborate during our weekly Wednesday night meetings, equally contributing to the continued development of our TV series. We all contributed equally in this TV show. Jessica was the supply manager. <laughs> Meredith was the production and template designer. Emma 
the videographer, Daniela, the creative director, and Bridget, the editor and proofreader. Thanks for watching. XOXO Lady Bosses Inc.